This is Rob with Talus TCT, and today we'll be integrating OpenSSL and Apache with our Talus TCT Network HSM. This allows us to create a certificate using a private key that's stored in the HSM, and that will be used as the root certificate for the web server. This will also configure OpenSSL to be able to use the HSM for any other needs. So the first thing we want to do is to change directories into the user safenet luna client bin directory. And here we'll run VTL verify. Here we can see that we do have the partition created and assigned. So that way the server has access to the HSM. We'll also run CMU list so that we can see that the partition is currently empty. The other thing that we've already done for preparing for this integration is downloading the OpenSSL toolkit. You can contact support for access to that file. So I'm going to untar this file using tar-xvf, the file name, dash capital C, and then the opt directory. This will untar the toolkit into root opt. Next, we'll double check which version of OpenSSL we have installed. We'll do that with the rpm-q for query, OpenSSL. And here we can see it's version 1.0.2k. Next, we'll change into the gem engine directory. We untied that to the opt directory and then gemengine-1.2. Here we'll run the gem build command with the option locate engines. This will show us where the OpenSSL engines are located. In this case, user lib64 OpenSSL engines. Now that we know which directory the engine should be located in, we'll copy the pre-build engine to that directory. So we'll copy opt gem engine 1.2 builds Linux RHEL 64 1.0.2 because that's the version of OpenSSL that we're using. And then the name of the library is libgem.so. We'll copy that to the directory that was output by the gem build locate engines command, which was user lib64 OpenSSL engines. Next, we also need to copy the saUtil binary that's located in opt gem engine 1.2 builds Linux RHEL 64 1.0.2 and then SAUtil. We'll copy that into user local bin. This will allow us to run the SAUtil command from any other directory. The SAUtil binary is used for performing crypto operations using the HSM once we have OpenSSL configured. Next, we need to find the directory that OpenSSL is installed. So we use OpenSSL version d. And here we can see it's an Etsy PKI TLS. So we'll edit the file. I'm using VI. Etsy PKI TLS OpenSSL.CNF. Near the beginning of the file, we'll need to add the line OpenSSL underscore conf equals OpenSSL underscore init. Then at the very end of the file, we'll add the OpenSSL underscore init section with the line engines equal engine section. Then the engine section with the line gem equals gem section. And then the gem section 
Here we'll have dynamic path equals and we'll point to the library that we copied to user lib64 openssl engines libgem.so and the line default algorithms equals all. Then we'll save this file. And now we can test OpenSSL with the command OpenSSL engine dash V. And here we see the section that says gem with gem engine support. This shows that the library is being accessed correctly and the edits were correct in the file. If you don't see this section, go back and revisit the OpenSSL.conf file and check that everything was edited correctly. Next, we'll need to run a script that will modify our christoki.conf file. This will add the lines that are necessary for OpenSSL to work. From the gem engine directory, we'll run optimize.shell with the option fork. Before I run this, I'll show the contents of the christoki.conf file in another window. cat etsy christoki.conf. And here we see the end of the file. Now we'll run this command, the optimize.shell fork. And if we go back and cat the christoki.com file again, we'll see the gem engine section that was added to the end. Now that we have OpenSSL configured, we can use our SAUtil binary to open a connection to the HSM. This will be SAUtil V dash s1 dash i 10 colon 11 dash o dash q. Now we'll enter the password for the partition and we can see that this application ID 10 colon 11 has been open for access. Use seutil dash verbose dash slot 1 dash id 10 colon 11 dash generate 2048 dash file, and a path and file name for the pseudo key. This will create a file on the system that contains metadata that points to the key that's stored on the HSM. I'm using Etsy PKI TLS private apache.key. Here we can see the ID of the key that it created. And if we go to another terminal window and do the CMU list command, from the SafeNet Luna client directory. We can see that same label here for the key that was created on the HSM. Now we can use OpenSSL to generate a certificate request using the key from the HSM. The format for that command is OpenSSL REQ for request dash new, dash engine gem, dash key, and we'll put the path and file name for the pseudo key, which is etsy pki tls private apache dot key. And the output file, dash out, and I'll use apache dot csr. For the certificate request, this will prompt us for these fields. For the common name, we do want to use the fully qualified domain name of the web server. I'll be using apache207.insat.com. These last two fields can be left blank. They're optional, the challenge password and optional company name. Now if we do an ls, we'll see apache.csr. That's our certificate request file. This file will need to get signed by our certificate authority. And we'll also need to have the root certificate or the chain certificate for that certificate authority. That'll be used later. For this integration, I'm using a Windows Active Directory certificate authority. So I will copy the text of the CSR file and then on the certificate authority, 
I will submit that and get that signed. Here I'm pasting in the contents of the certificate request, saving that as a file. Then I'll use the cert request command, specifying the template of the web server, and specifying the file name of the certificate request file. Here I'll select which certificate authority to use to sign the certificate request. And then save the output file. Here I've copied the certificate to the system, named apache.cer. I want to have this in PEM format, so I'll use OpenSSL x509. Put the name of the file as the input file, apache.cer. The output format is PEM, and the output file I'll call apache.pem. Now this apache.pem file, I want to copy to Etsy, PKI, TLS, certs. Now we're ready to configure HTTPD for Apache. So we'll run the yum command, yum-y install, HTTPD space mod underscore SSL. If either of these are not installed, this will install them. And then to configure this to automatically start, we'll use system control, enable, httpd.service. Now we'll need to add some firewall commands to allow httpd SSL connections. So we'll do firewall command, permanent, add service equals https. And then we'll do firewall command reload to reload the firewall rules. Next, because SE Linux is enabled, we'll do SE manage port dash L for list pipe to grep 1792. And we can see that there are already some rules for port 1792. So we can add our connection using se manage port dash m dash t http port t dash p for port tcp 1792. This will allow our application to run through that port with se linux enabled. Next we'll edit the file etsy httpd conf.d ssl.conf We need to make sure we have this line listen port 443 HTTPS. And then we'll scroll down to SSL crypto device. And we'll change this to SSL crypto device gem. And then we'll scroll down to where we point to the key and certificates. In the section SSL certificate file We'll enter the path and file name for the certificate file that was signed. For server private key, we'll enter the path and file name for our pseudo key that was created using OpenSSL. Now we can run Apache control config test. And then we'll do system control start httpd.service. Now we're almost ready to test the website. First we'll go into Firefox, Settings, Certificates, Authorities, 
and we'll add the root certificate from the CA. Now we can navigate to our website. And we can see that the HTTPS connection, the SSL protected website, is running. This is using the certificate that was created using the key on the HSM. And this concludes our integration of OpenSSL and Apache with our Talos TCT network HSM. Be sure to check out our channel on YouTube for other videos of our other integrations.